Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to The Eminence in Shadow Season 2, Episode 7, which means that we are currently past the halfway point, and it seems like everything so far is going exactly according to John Smith's plan. So if you guys are excited for the episode, make sure to leave a like. Now while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and then lastly, do not forget that over on the Patreon, there are a bunch of bonuses, big one being that if you you head on over and join the two dollar tier then you get access to all of my uncut reactions including this series right here but with that a lot of the way let's get into this episode oh that guy he had his arms crossed like this is he saying like you know we're not taking counterfeit money or what was that all about because i think the people are starting to realize now that uh the money they've been using is fake Ah, oh, and poor Alpha. Yeah. This, I don't think this is something that you can just explain away. Like, Kagano, he's gonna have to do something special to make up for this one. Something precious. Alright, so we got, we have these guys moving uh, suitcases full of gold. Redeeming their money for gold. Dang, and all these people in line too. Alright, we got this guy. So we know, dude, I can't remember her name for the life of me, but we know that, um, the fox girl, Yuki Mei. She's trying to get back at this dude. Which we also found out last episode was her uh, ex-husband. Mm. Oh, he recognized that bell. Look at he's even sweating bullets over here. Is he just afraid to face her? Or does he know how crazy powerful she's become? Look, this man is terrified. So was she there or not? Did he sense her presence or something? I don't know if Alpha is really motivated to try to fix this situation anymore. Yeah. Exactly. So to them, it seems like Shadow started his villain arc. Oh no, she's really taking this hard, man. Oh, no. Oh, man, they're starting to see it again. <laughs> They'd given up hope for a second. But see, the thing is, with this anime, right, we often get into these situations where people... I don't know if overestimate is the right word, but they make Kageno seem like so much more of a genius than he actually is. So, like, they're like, he knew all along! But I really think it was just a coincidence, wasn't it? This was the list he wrote in Japanese, right? Was it actually a secret code? Wait, what does it say? Oh. Dang. Alright, Kagano. Also, I love that attention to detail. How, like, the tears 
kind of blurred the ink. Well, at least he let them know beforehand. I think that's really cool. Instead of handling all of this and then revealing the truth to them. Oh, the confrontations here. Okay, okay. So he did actually plan this out. It's honestly hard to tell because there's some moments like this where it's like, dang, Kagano's really just that dude. But then there's other moments like when he was talking to Yukime on the train where it's like, okay, yeah, this guy, they think he's way smarter than he actually is. Oh, Delta's back. Oh, she knew! What the heck? She could sense her. Oh, is she nervous because she thought she'd be in trouble? Dang, that means Juggernaut's already gone. <laughs> My man got bodied off screen. That's crazy. <laughs> Delta's just so dumbfounded right now. John Smith going crazy again. Yep, she's doing this for revenge. Dude really is on his villain arc here. <laughs> Money hungry. The evil laugh. Him betraying Alpha. Is he gonna hunt down Getan himself? Oh, I feel bad for him. If this dude's even still alive when we get there. Speaking of... Dang! Not a scratch on her! And she broke his sword too! Oh wow! I didn't realize both of his eyes were messed up. Oh, so since he's blind, his senses are like heightened. That's how he knew that she was there. Oh, she's just leaving him for dead. Ah, oh, classic. Oh, he actually got her. Oh, he's holding the blade with his bare hand. And his eyes are back. There we go. <laughs> John Smith is here now. Perfect timing, too. And he actually is going to be able to get his get back. <laughs> I thought he was going to be too late. Yeah, you messed with the wrong one today. Mm hmm Look, he can't stop thinking about her. He's just trying to get his money back. Something very precious. No, wait, she doesn't... She doesn't know why he's really here. Wait, she doesn't know why he's really here. <laughs> Dude, they always do this. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, that's not the answer we wanted to hear. Now, dude, when will you learn, man? 
Jesus. It doesn't even sound like he's saying anything. <laughs> John Smith is just beating him down, not even letting him answer anymore. Yep, and now he realizes. just got corrupted I guess I mean I still don't quite understand his final words there because at least to my understanding the him being shown those pills and how powerful they are that's what corrupted him right oh she actually figured it out though Look at Kagano, dude. Having a positive impact on so many people's lives. When he was just a kid going around fighting crime. All empty. Dang, sorry buddy. Oh, dude, this guy with the blue hair. He was there back in season one, right? I think... Uh, Iris had like two guards by her side and I think one of them died but he was the other one he's like all right now where's my money at <laughs> oh they took it Dang, ballin. Look at that! That gold just glistening behind them. Oh! No way. Yo, that's sick. First we recruited uh, Rose, and now we've recruited Yukime. We have a freaking powerful squad over here, man. And now look, we're the biggest bank in the city. Yeah. See. Okay, okay. Man, dude, I swear this anime, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm just dumb, but I feel like this anime just takes your brain on like a roller coaster, dude. So my guess is that the list that Beta found and that Beta translated was wrong, right? It seems as though Alpha was like, okay, uh, Kagano planned all of this, or Shadow planned all of this from the start. He knew that this would happen. He wanted us to get this gold and bring it to our bank so we can save our bank from the credit collapse. But over here, he's talking about how he came here to get his gold and he didn't get a single gold coin. So he probably doesn't even know that they took the gold, which means there had to have been a miscommunication somewhere. And I think it had to be that letter. I think they mistranslated the letter. I don't know how they got such a, like, convenient translation. But maybe I'm dumb. Maybe one of you guys can explain. But I feel like my brain is mashed potatoes right now. Trying to understand how there is so much of a disconnect between Kagano and Shadow Garden. Yeah, and see, he doesn't even know why the bank is still doing good. Oh, true! You gotta follow up on your promise! You can't fall back on it, no. True. Aw, oh, don't gaslight her! <laughs> the end of the world. 
Oh man, don't do this to her. She deserves it. Oh. An evil fiendish demon lord. <laughs> Oh my god. What are you planting into this poor girl's head? I think we know who our next boss is gonna be. We're gonna take down Santa Claus. Yeah. Dude, this is so confusing. Yeah. <laughs> No. See, so that this confirms it. His letter that he made wasn't like an apology letter. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Oh? Did she strike gold or something? What is that? What'd she find? Oh, I guess we'll find out next episode. Yeah, okay, so maybe I'm not as dumb as I thought. There definitely was a mistranslation in that letter because one, he still thinks that Geton took the gold. He doesn't know that Shadow Garden got the gold. Number two, he said that somehow the bank, I think it's called like Mitsugoshi, is still doing well. Obviously, we know that they're doing well because they have the gold, but Kagino doesn't know that. And they were, Alpha was speaking as if um, Kageno must have planned for them to get that gold so that he could save them from the credit crisis and their bank could continue going on and thriving. And he was also talking about, ah, oh, they're probably still mad at me, but I'm not going to apologize. Whereas in that letter, that was kind of at least interpreted by Beta and Alpha and Gamma as an apology and as an explanation for his actions when it doesn't seem like he was actually doing any of that. So I don't know how they mistranslated it so badly, but all's well that ends well, right? He's gonna come back home, he's gonna see Alpha and she's gonna be happy, Gamma's gonna be happy, and it's gonna seem like he never did anything wrong. So I guess this is just a win-win for him at the end of the day, except for the fact that he didn't get the gold that he planned for. So Operation Let's Get This Bag was a failure, kinda? Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And with that, I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching this far into the video. Now we'll catch you all in the next one, have a good one.